What's up everybody, Joseph for today we're back at it again with Sandra which is part 9. Today we're starting off the episode with Planet Wisp Act 2. So, I'm gonna go ahead and explain why we're breaking the formula of Act 1 Act 2. So, basically, if you didn't know, haven't played this game before, Act Planet Wisp is the longest stage of the game. It's the last stage of the game, so it kind of makes sense. But Planet Wisp Act 2, it's like 9 minutes long. I think my first playthrough, like, I don't even know. It's basically stupidly long. I do feel like they could have cut it down, but it's all good, you know? But then, after this part, all we have is boss fights plus Act 1 of the stage. Act 1 seemed to fit better, because I didn't want to have, like, it was weird, because like, this part was, like, 20 minutes long. Then we had a tiny little video of the two bosses after this, then we had the final boss and the cutscenes and the credits and all that. So now 20 parts, so I thought you know, we'll have a tiny video here, the next part will be a bit, a uh, bit bigger one, then we'll end it off with a big 20 minute part, with part 11 over in, uh, March. So yeah. Anyways, this is Planet Wisp, this is from Sonic Colors, the Nintendo Wii game, back in 2010. Most of y'all probably know who this game is, it's the bit, really what we saw playing is on the back. And we'll start ushering, ushering in the era, the core and modern era that we are in currently. So, yeah. Uh, I guess, well, everything's backwards. Act 2 is where I talk about my feelings, but now it's forced. But yeah, um, again, this was also, this is actually one of the first Sonic games that had two releases, one on the DS and one on the Wii, where the DS version was handled by Dems and the Wii version was handled by Sonic Team. So it's actually kind of different. Where it was, it started a whole trend of, oh, each Sonic game's got two releases now, a mobile and home version, which I've currently has been broken by Sonic Forces. There was, there was actually has been a handheld Sonic game in a while now, I think about because you didn't have, Mania was a handheld, which I don't know why they didn't make Mania a handheld. That would have been great. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, my opinions on the stage personally, I don't, I like it. Like I said earlier, it's way, way, way too long. It definitely could have been shortened down by a couple of minutes. I think at the most five, six minutes, it, that's what it should have been. It shouldn't have been. I'm not even saying it's because of upload week, cause, and yeah, it's kind of annoying trying to make these have to have all the same type of length, but. It's also just, look, this is always the stage that I look the least forward to out of all stages. I still love it, it's a really great stage. I am, I do enjoy my stay on Planet Wisp, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, co Sonic Colors, oh wow, I actually, I still remember getting the game. Remember when I got the game, it was at a GameStop, wow, I think. Ooh, wow. It was... I don't remember. I remember we were getting at the GameStop. Well, I probably get most of my games, but... I think I had a choice between this game or Sonic Heroes. And the kind of Sonic Heroes they had was the PlayStation 2 version. Which, if any of y'all have ever played the PlayStation 2 version of Sonic Heroes, it is horrible. It's a little of lag and glitches and... Yeah, and me, young little me, was like, you know what? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not gonna get that. I'm like, I'll probably get Sonic Heroes eventually. I'll probably find it like sometime within the next year. Yeah, I didn't get Sonic Heroes until last year. 2018. And it was had a good build. But yeah. And uh, Sonic Heroes is always a game that I always really want to play because I always feel like it's the games that people don't, don't really care about as much. Got kind of more mixed on I normally like. Hence Black Knight, Sonic and the Black Knight and all that. But being my favorite Sonic game obviously. But, uh, yeah, um, no, it's, I like Sonic Heroes, I still haven't beaten it though, it's, I don't know, I, I guess I will eventually have a playthrough of it, I'll have to finally beat it, but, eh, I don't know, it's never, I just not my cup of tea, I feel like it's too repetitive, I don't know, it's weird, I haven't played it in a while, so my opinions probably aren't exactly correct to what they really, truly are. I would like, I probably should be it soon though. Anyway, so back to this game, um... 
there's really not too much else about this level. Oh, we ha obviously we have the Wisp. I guess I could probably talk about those. One you just saw right there was the Rocket Wisp. Basically, you just shoot up in the sky. Later on, next part we will see the Spike Wisp, which in the game... I want to see the same thing that does heal, but I don't feel like that's right. And there's also other ones like Cube and Drill and... Yeah. And these will actually be with and um... What's it called? Sonic Forces. I keep forgetting the name of that game. Sonic Forces where they'll use as the little guns your avatar have. Also with Torn in the IDW comics, which they actually explain why the Wisp are here in continuity, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's why here's another mechanic of the stage, how you have the little cart things. <laughs> Got yeah, you catacillas, got you egg robos, mm, yeah. Uh, that's basically it. I only have too much force experience on colors. I do remember beating it. I feel like I did something really dumb when I beat it. So I probably did. But I still remember being like, I remember sitting on the couch. And like, I finally beat it. I remember going through like the hour long credit scene. Uh, I mean, I used to hate the credits theme. I think it was called Open Your Heart or something. No, that's Sonic Adventure theme. Whatever it, the credits theme was for Sonic Cars, I used to hate it. Like, I like despised it. Now, though, I like it. It's not my favorite Sonic Lyrical song, but it's up there. It's, I've gotten a lot. I've warmed up to it a lot more. I guess we can leave it at that. So, yeah. Anyways, it's actually the final section of the stage, so. I want to say it's like my third take doing this episode, this stage, I want to like, I don't want this to be forever, I want to say my original one was like 9, 8, 9, 10 minutes. We'll see what my time is, it's probably going to be around 8 minutes, 7, 8 minutes. Yeah. I guess it should, um, the roof is closing down, I think we'll see it up here. Or, or the roof, yeah, is closing down. <laughs> Gotta break through that. Yeah, why he was going to see that in the stage, so... After this, we're going to have a cutscene, and then it'll be that in part, so... Yeah, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the final two parts, part 10 and 11, next week. Bye! Huh?